Hello everyone with the spirit of learning welcome back into my video in YouTube so in this tutorial we're going to learn how do we make this kind of waves yeah so basically uh, if I'm uh, developing the Android develop uh, for the Android development I'm gonna use this a uh, background as a PNG but I found the website that helps me to uh, generate the, the SVG to create the web so get waves.io so here you can customize uh, whatever you want, whatever the shape is, whatever the direction are. So yeah, it's pretty simple. You just uh, need to customize a few of the option here. So I'm going to make it uh, make it same like uh, the way I did here with the sketch. So we're going to try implement into the Android Studio. So first of all, let me uh, copy this hex code and then I try to put here, okay? And if you see in my design, I just got one and then two waves, okay? So here, I think we have to make it minimalist like this. Yeah, I know it's hard to he, it's hard to get the the uh, the exact design that I did in the sketch with this kind of a generator. So whenever you try to uh, make it same, I think it's gonna be hard for me. Okay, so why not we try to like maybe ninety ninety percent exactly <laughs> to the uh, demo. So yeah, so first of all, let me uh, prepare this kind of asset. As I just need one illustration, make exportable, and then I'm going to setting as the Android because they will generate uh, five different sizes. So here I try to uh, set music for live. Okay, done. And then uh, we're going into the Android Studio to create new Android Studio project. The project is ready to use, and uh, first of all, I will uh, import the design asset that I did here. So let me find where is the design asset. Okay, here I am. We're going to the resource manager, and there we go. Wait, all right. Just simply drag and drop, and then import. Okay, now ready. And if you see in the design, there is no uh, action bar. So I think I just simply to copy this hex code. And then I will replace the the color, the color primary dark. Because the status bar is going to be the same color. And you're going into the styles to change this dark action bar into the no action bar. And then this is what we got here. Change into the pixel number 2 with the layout decoration okay pretty nice and i'm sure that we already removed this <laughs> uh, action bar into the no action bar why still right there let me close first and supposed to be gone right and the color supposed to be changed but i don't know why okay leave it for now so uh, right now we got this uh, this 90% exact <laughs> with the sample so just simply download this uh, SVG and so into finder copy and I will put into this asset and I will change the name uh, web background header okay and then we're going back into this Android studio and we are new factor set and you use this uh, local file to find this SVG that we just download and here we go okay I know it's not really same but you know it's worth to try finish and then let me remove this text view and let me make it smaller so I can get the big view here so the first thing that uh, I do is uh, making a view and this is supposed to be uh, match parent and then we'll see the height of this uh, background is about um, 400 okay and we give the background into the uh, what was that 
AC wave background header. Okay. Wow, it looks terrible. <laughs> okay, so I think I just simply to close first. And I don't think that this kind of wave is uh, really having uh, the same hike with this. Yeah, let me try once more again. We have to do this, guys. Okay, just like this. And then download again. Yeah, just repeat the last step. Copy, and then we put here. We give the name background header 2. Okay. And then I just simply to redo what I did last time. So it's supposed to be background header to SVG next and finish and it's supposed to be two. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I think this is still the better one. All right. So uh, in the scale type, well, I think uh, we can use this image view instead of the view. So I think I just simply to see with background header and then in the skull type we give like maybe center crop. Okay. And the question is how do we make it more heck, you know? Because in the website there is no option to uh, to give the heck of this wave. Okay. Oh this is the opacity. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> so yeah, the question is how do we make a little bit uh, taller? So if you see in this Android, you can open this background. And there is, uh, I think, yeah. There is supposed to uh, be, hey, this one is that. Oh no, terrible. Oh, this one, maybe. No, I'm still looking for it. Yeah, we couldn't find that. Yeah, it's 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 horrible. <laughs> okay, never mind. And then I just simply to give the margin left, margin right, and then margin top. Okay. And then we remove this into the zero dp, just like that. But I'm wondering why does this style haven't changed yet? Hasn't changed yet. Why is that? Even I I try to, you know, use this no action bar. So the layout supposed to be changed. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And the color, yeah. Okay, damn, that's nice, right? Now the question is, how do we make it more bit a taller? So I can put a simple design right over there. Well, actually, I have to copy this double image view. So you know, this is the the another uh, image view that uh, we use as this illustration. But you know, in the design we got this big header but over here the header is just too small and i don't know yet how to fix it <laughs> really guys okay i think i i have a better way to manipulate okay so i just think that i got this better way to manipulate okay so how about we put it as 300 dp uh, no, 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 maybe 200 dp. Oh, no, 250 dp. Okay, that's enough. And then we have to uh, remove this first because I just want to put it. Wait, let me remove. Okay, let me cut this. Okay. Okay, so here, yeah, so we put here first, so we have to create a view here, so you know what I meant, 
so uh, over here I manipulate with the view with maybe 300 dp with the same background color uh, what was that uh, accent color oh no 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 maybe dark color primary dark okay and then after that I just simply okay it's supposed to be 200 okay I just simply do like this wow nice right we give the margin right margin left and then we give the margin top here okay okay amazing so in the margin start 0 dp and then 0 dp okay and the question is there is the gap between of this but that's okay i just uh, take care of this view first it's supposed to be 0 dp and then 0 dp and then 0 dp okay and then for this kind of thing <laughs> I don't know why there is a gap it's supposed to be center crop right oh I think I have to make it bigger okay okay problem solve and why is still red color there okay let me just remove this and then I put here to give the margin top margin right and then margin left and make all of them to be okay and then the last one we just give this image view right over here wow amazing but still we need more space so let me fix it for ya okay look i just uh i just changed this view into the 300 and make this image view with the margin top 24 and start egg and end egg okay so here that uh, we got this illustration and it's pretty nice with this kind of the design and i think i just uh, continue into this text view and then the button all right so let me uh, right here text view Okay, so this is for the uh, text view this is for the paragraph and yeah the last thing that we have to do is a button so we got this a button with the width uh, 180 and then 45 dp okay now this is for the button okay so it looks nice doesn't it so yeah I know it's a bit different for the header. I don't know yet how do we make it like the exact from uh, the sample 100%. <laughs> well, at least we got this chance to make it like with the SVG, you know. Because when you do, when you are using this uh, design with the PNG or JPEG, JPG the performance will be much much heavier sorry much heavy than uh, this svg so i recommend you to use this svg okay all right so let me try to run into this emulator okay everyone so this is how the design looks like with the uh, same design that we did in this <laughs> sketch okay well, I think uh, it is because I couldn't control 100% uh, because of this uh, generator. So you have to uh, you have to think how do you uh, solve this kind of problem. And my feedback for you, for the founder of this website, please uh, provide us and tell us how to make this web like 100%, you know, because I don't know yet <laughs> how. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you're enjoying this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe for uh, more updates for me. Okay, so I'll see you in the next couple days. So goodbye.